What's going on, my friends? Chris here. I want to bring you all a quick update of Bitcoin. Right now we're sitting at sixteen thousand six hundred dollars, about flat on the day. And what I want to do here is take a look at Bitcoin on the monthly time frame, which we're on now. And we're going to work our way in all the way to the one hour time frame to really get get you guys some good detail here. So if you get some from these videos, don't forget to like, subscribe, hit that notification bell. It's always appreciated. Let me know down low what you got going on today. Today's just going to be a work day for me, so not too much going on, but we're going to get after this here, guys. So first of all, when we're looking at Bitcoin here on the monthly time frame, most important thing that I want to talk to you guys about are trends. We are still in a downtrend on the monthly time frame. You can see right here, lower highs, lower lows coming in. We're trading below our 50 month moving average. So really big deal there. And that resistance would be up at around $22,600. So definitely an area if we do get a bounce out of here that you would want to look at as potential resistance. Now, when we're taking a look at this guys on the monthly time frame and we're stepping back, you can see using our VRVP here, the main area that I would look at if you are trying to accumulate, okay? So say you want to put limit buy orders down at these areas. I think this would be a safer area. I wouldn't go super heavy just due to the fact there's a lot of uncertainty out in the markets right now. But I really believe limit buy orders anywhere from about that 12000 down to roughly, as I'd say, about $7,000 could be an area. If we do get a capitulation flush down, you catch some long wicks, typically you'll get bought up pretty fast. And then that's what I like to do is sell off into that. Typically, if I'm just playing a reaction bounce like that, or if it looks like that's a bottoming pattern that's taking place, then you can hold it for a longer term swing position. But for me right now, guys, unless you're dollar cost averaging and you're investing for the longer term, I still don't think this is the area to be going in right now. I would look for some lower levels, potentially one more big flush to the downside. And one thing I was taking a look at here, guys, when we were looking back at the previous bear markets. So this area here, we had about 13 months before we ended up having a five month run up. That was a really large run up here for us. We roughly went to the wick there about 333% to the candle body about 225%. And what you'll notice is here we're about on the 13th month in terms of this chart as well. So if we do get some type of reversal, it'd be nice to see it correlate with what we did before in the bear market, where we would at least get some nice relief rally before there's even more downturn. And we had a double bottom here essentially, and then we got a really nice move to the upside. So just keeping an eye on these things, the fact that we are, I believe, let's see, here's two, four, six, eight, 10, 12, 13. So we're on 13 months here to the downside, guys. If we get into our indicators, our MACD, we have not had a positive cross to the upside there. We're at a negative 1953, and then a positive there, 2163, and the blue would need to cross up through that orange is what you'd be wanting to look for for that MACD cross. If we get into our cipher, we have a negative 2.29, and that's gonna be on the VWAP. Money flow is a positive 1.30, and then our relative strength is gonna be at 40, so we are not up above that critical 50 level on the relative strength yet. So for me, guys, still being patient, sitting back, waiting for some great opportunities if we can get some down here, or when the trend changes back to the upside on the weekly time frame, then we'll have the wind at our back. Next, we're gonna take a look at the one week time frame. So these are weekly candles. Same deal here, still in a downtrend. So we're dealing with our lower highs and we had lower lows here. We did get some climax volume right here, so we do want to pay attention to that. But when we're looking at this, guys, we are still, we're trading far below our 200 week moving average and our 50 week moving average there. Our 200 week moving average, you would be looking at roughly about $24,000. So really watching that 22.6 and $24,000 if we do get a bounce to the upside here in the days and weeks to come. So just watching that, but you can see here guys, same deal on this VRVP, this big void right here. I don't think a lot of people are buying in this area. They're either waiting for lower levels or they're just patiently waiting to see if we can form that uptrend and then jump in on top of that main things they're looking at there but you can see we could also have some heavy resistance now at about 19,183 would be another area for us if we get into our indicators macd we have a negative 3485 and a negative 3917 if we get into our cipher we have a negative 11.77 that's going to be on the vwap money flow is going to be a negative 10.0 and then our relative strength is gonna be at 32. So yet again, guys, still below that 50. And that's a big marker for you of strength, bull and bear markets. So that's gonna be on the weekly time frame, still in a downtrend. So nothing crazy, we don't have to jump into positions right now. Next one, we're gonna get into the one day time frame here. Same deal, looking at this downtrend, guys, you could draw a downtrend line right here if you wanted to, but still trading below our 50 day moving average and our 200 day moving average, which our 200 is going to be at $22,541 there. You can see I have an alert 
right down in this area. So I'll give that to you guys. And that's at 12,651. I have possible long there, but that's just something that I'd be looking at. You have to evaluate once you get down to those levels is going to be what's important for you. If we take a look here, MACD, negative 900 and negative 737. In terms of our VWAP, we're at a positive 1.98. Money flow is going to be a negative 9.38. And relative strength is going to be at 36. So still not above 50 on the one-day time frame either, guys. So if you're looking at the monthly, the weekly, and the daily, downtrend, no reason to say I have to nail the bottom right now unless you're dollar cost averaging. These would be attractive areas. If we get into the four-hour time frame, so on the four hour time frame, you can see this big pull down here, guys, that we had. And this drop here was roughly about 30%. So that's why I'm saying why you want to be so careful and protect your capital because you don't need another 30% flush to the downside. Say you buy here and we drop another 30%. You don't want to take that type of heat and have to sit in those positions for a long time. That's called opportunity costs that you're wasting because you could be trading something else in another market and using that money productively as opposed to having it tied up in a coin that's not really doing anything or in an accumulation stage or just moving sideways you know, for a half a year or whatever. So when we're taking a look at this here on the four hour time frame, guys, still trading below our 50 moving average, trading below our 200. So, I mean, guys, look at this. From our four hour all the way out to the month, we're not even trading up above our 50 moving average. So definitely something that you want to keep an eye on here. If we are tracking this uptrend, we we'll do something like this here, guys. We're going to try to get as many touches as possible is how I like to do it. If we pull this back in maybe a little bit more here. So something along the lines of this. We would want to continue to hold this trend line here and keep grinding up it. If we do get a nice little pop, I'd look at resistance at about 17,200, then probably be up to around that 18,151. And then if we take a look here, guys, on the four-hour time frame, we're going to have a negative 44 and a negative 56 for our MACD. In terms of our VWAP, we're going to be at a positive 0.81. Money flow is going to be a negative 10.53. And then relative strength is going to be at 47. So getting closer to that 50, trying to get up above that 50. But we'd want to see it come on volume as well. Then if we get into the one hour time frame. So one hour time frame, still trading below our 50 and our 200 here, guys. But it's getting really tight. Big squeeze here. So a break most likely is going to be coming here. We can't tell you whether it's going to be to the upside or the downside. But we are prepared with our downside numbers. And if we do get a break up above here. We would need to get up above, guys, about that $17,000 would be a big area, as well as this 200 moving average on the one-hour time frame, which is going to put you at roughly about $16,700. MACD is going to be at negative 11.82 and negative 17.22. VWAP is going to be at positive 4.72. Money flow is going to be negative 3.51. And then we have our relative strength is going to be at 48. So, guys, even looking from the one-hour all the way back to the month, the relative strength's not above 50 on anything. So if you're really feeling the need of, I have to get a position right now, either just dollar cost average and take your time, you know, say you have, uh, say $5,000, whatever, you could do $1,000 at this area, put another thousand at say 14, another thousand at 12, another thousand at 10, another thousand at eight, and just work your way down in case we do get one of those big flushes, you'll get a nice average that you can ride up in the next bull mark is what you'd be looking for, but you're gonna probably have to hold for a while. Because guys, you know, we could even be, say we get another flush down, it could be quite a while for an accumulation area, or if even this is gonna be the bottom, we could accumulate for a while. So just one of those things you don't wanna take unnecessary heat is what I would advise you. But you know, the fact that from the one hour all the way back to the month, we're not even above on any of those time frames, the 50 relative strength, that just shows you right now, guys, you don't have to rush into any position. Just really protect that capital. Keep an eye on these levels and how price reacts at these levels for resistance and support and what type of candlestick patterns you form off them. That's what's gonna help you the most, guys. So let's see on the one hour here if we can get up above the 200, maybe make a little move there. But overall, guys, just be cautious. God bless you all. Take care.